Media relevance. We are a company that's going to revolutionize what advertising means. We're taking the conversations in media and making it meaningful to the viewer. We're going to be introducing an iPad app fairly soon into the US and Brazilian marketplace. And we'll also be working with content publishers to monetize their video assets on the web or wherever they might have it. The problem that we're solving is that brands want to connect with their viewers anywhere they are. They want to have a meaningful relationship with the people that are, are, want to be their customers. I have an intern who's 21 years old and he has never heard of Grey Poupon. Has never heard of the brand Grey Poupon. How does a brand reach that consumer, that millennial that has never heard of Lipton? How does a brand find those customers in today's new media landscape? Viewers are pretty sick of ads that don't really connect to what they're doing. They're bored, they're annoyed by Geico ads. I don't drive, so I don't need car insurance. Publishers are competing against every other publisher to try to get ads that are actually, you know, giving them money. They want to make money from their media assets. We can help them do that. What we do is provide relevance to video. We work with publishers to take better, you know, <laughs> to make their media inventories work better for them. We do that by scouring everything they have and finding relevant moments of advertising. What that means is we take everything people say, you know, like what I'm talking about here, <laughs> and we analyze it. We find uh, the themes, the places, the things that matter in the video, and we pair that with advertising that works. Here you're seeing an ad for Gillette, but that might be an interstitial ad, it might be a display ad, or it might be anything. Um, consider a brand like Tiffany's. They want to find new customers. We can take our technology, scour all the video assets on Hulu, and find for them everywhere people are getting engaged. Moments where people are thinking about getting married and bringing that brand into that moment. We can do that with anyone, any kind of media brand. We can find ads where, or moments where cars are the right campaign to run. Our platform is pretty cool. Um, it allows for revenue sharing on the iPad app or on the web. So we're delivering money to our publishers. We offer great metrics. Uh, we offer all sorts of tools so they can better make money from what they have. Their existing products, their existing campaigns, it all works on our platform. The features that we really deliver, the core of what our platform is, is contextual. Context, demography, geography, and social. All exposed through our API and paired with second screen technology, IAB compatible advertising, so that means interstitial ads, pre-rolls, mid-rolls, or anything else that's available out there. If, you've, if you're familiar with advertising, you might have heard of M-Rate. M-Rate's a rich media payload, so we can, <coughs> we can deploy any kind of ad that anyone wants to have on their publishing platform. And we can white label it and work with content publishers of any kind. Um, one of the exciting things that we're doing now is we're providing our tools to publishers here in the US and large publishers internationally. These tools let people manage the campaigns from end to end. An iPad app, a broadcast distribution, and our own campaign management portal. We're working with partners that are pretty awesome. <coughs> our partners allow us to go global first. The technology that we've built is language agnostic, which means we can process language in Portuguese, Kanji, Cyrillic, English, it doesn't really matter. This gives us global scale right now. The global marketplace for advertising is pretty awesome. You know, in the US it's you know, billions, it's awesome, right? Um, but we're not just looking at the US, we're looking at the whole world. Um, 
my team came together because we're all Latinos. English is my second language. I learned speaking English by watching TV with the closed captioning on. Little history about what we've done, right? Uh, Jesse just came back from two months in Brazil working with some of our partners there. We're working with Fede Global, it's the second largest media company in the world, and TV Gazeta in Vitoria. We're doing pilots where we're trying to drive consumers into a shopping experience with the story of the show they watched the night before. Really exciting pilot in an awesome marketplace. We got a grant from Startup Brazil, the Brazilian government, to operate down there. So we're committed to being global right now. Jesse's our country manager and he's not here today. He's a little sick from his trip back, but we're doing some good stuff there and uh, you know, definitely connect with us if you'd like to hear more. Ed, our CTO, is a you know, technology you know, superstar uh, from Stanford who's been building great platforms for some time. Sitting right over there if you have any questions about our platform. Me, um, like Ed, I've been coding since I was like seven years old before I spoke English. Building technology for the world's greatest tech companies. You've probably touched the stuff that I built for the US Postal Service, go to, and other pretty large scale stuff. But you can talk to me about that later as well. We're raising some money to move faster, uh, 2.5 million, to continue deploying our stuff to more content distribution networks, and uh, you know, really just pushing this further. You know, we raised some money last year that got us pretty far. Our technology is pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, talk to me a little bit more about that later. Um, Please email me our uh, our product that we're open, releasing into the platform, into the iOS store is called the Viva. Uh, it's an iOS product that has all sorts of cool features that you'll you would have seen in other platforms, but it has our stuff in it. It has the monetization engine that lets publishers make money right away. Thanks.